A few weeks ago, my friend the real Panuganti asked me, what if we take a Final Fantasy VII track and we remake it in modern terms, but with as many guitars as there are in metalcore and as many orchestras as there are in film music? I thought that sounded completely ridiculous, which is why I felt we needed to do that right away. The track we chose to remake was Birth of a God. It's still a total banger despite the fact that it's like 20 years old. However, Rose started by sending me the guitars to convince me of the legitimacy of this idea and they're like... Wow! What a freaking facelift. We have this lead with a lot of delay there and multiple voices like... Da, da, da. Then we also have like this rhythm guitar and some drums which hit freaking hard. Now my first thought was naturally, let's add some beautiful orchestra on top of that. Just to create a sense of like sacredness and like this is a very important fight. Since this is playing at such a pivotal moment in the game, I thought it would be cool to add references to other themes in Final Fantasy. So I added the prelude in the strings. I also chose to add some brass calling back to the Final Fantasy VII main theme. The next section is this one. The first thing we needed was a strong beat, so Ro obviously obliged with his crazy rock arrangement. So freaking cool. I decided to add some orchestra to that. Then I asked myself, how can we make this even bigger? The organ melody was surely not enough. I mean, it works, but what about epic choir? This melody repeats twice in the original, and I don't like to repeat stuff without changing things, so I added a solo violin to go full Xenoblade Chronicles. So cool. Now, we're tackling this part next. This is how Rose's guitar sounds like now. Now, because I'm a Final Fantasy nerd, I feel this calls for a Final Fantasy VIII reference. I feel very few people will share that in the final track, and I like to add these details in my Final Fantasy covers everywhere. Actually, all of them are full of references. For this part... This is what our boy Ro did. So cool. I feel that he left a space here with a lead guitar, so one thing you will notice is that a prelude arpeggio... And another thing is that this is a Final Fantasy XIII reference. I also like the way the piano is used in FF13. And I wanted to give a nod to that here. makes this more emotional. However, hidden in the midst of all of that, I also have the strings playing the main melody. Now the part every single birth of a god fan has been waiting for. Needless to say, we really went to town on this one and we summoned the biggest wall of sound. So we have the bass from Rogue. We have some guitars. And this alone with the drums should be enough. But it wasn't enough for me. I added some organs, some low strings, bass trombone, and some sub bass. On top of that, we added choir, two blood barrels, and some strings to really get this to the next level. So go. Cool. With the drums. In the second half, I wanted the choir voices to sound even heavier. So freaking dark! I love it. This is a final boss track, so I wanted to add even more references to Final Fantasy VII, so I added the main melody again on minor brass. And then we have One Wing. And 
And now if you want to listen to the whole track, you can either do it in this video, I'm gonna play it now, or you can go to Rose's channel where he has a video where he plays the track on guitar so you can see how it looks like also. I'm gonna link that down below and now let's go.